Hello viewer and welcome to Artistry. My name is Daniel Ndongo from S West Technical Training Institute uh, and I'm here to take on electrical installation. Uh, last week or last time we discussed about uh, installation and we discussed about the types of installation that are uh, possible in a domestic installation and uh, today we are going to see how uh, the wiring uh, should be done and uh, we are going to first of all discuss about the wiring systems uh, that are possible in a domestic installation. Uh, in a domestic installation uh, we, have allow, we have two uh, types of wiring system that are uh, admissible in a domestic installation and uh, one of them is uh, what we refer to as uh, service wiring service wiring number one number two we have uh, PVC PVC conduit uh, uh, wiring system. Uh, we said that uh, in an installation, the installation needs to be protected, uh, one, against uh, overcurrent that would destroy the cables, and two, uh, against mechanical damage. So uh, that's the reason why we have uh, these types of uh, wiring system, uh, and more so uh, to protect against mechanical damage of the, uh, of the installation. Uh, one of uh, the methods that we use to protect against uh, mechanical damage is the use of uh, a sheath, use of a sheath, sheath, and this sheath is made of uh, PVC, is made of PVC, and then uh, the cables uh, lay, uh, lay, lay enclosed in a sheath and uh, it looks like this. It looks like this. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are the, uh, the cables and uh, this is the conductor, this is the insulation and uh, this is the sheath that we are referring. So the purpose of this sheath is to protect uh, against uh, mechanical damage uh, and also against uh, any other damage, uh, be it chemical, uh, that would attack the cables. Because we said that uh, the cable or the wire consists of uh, three parts. Uh, we have the one that is, uh, you can see here, uh, this is the conductor. And uh, the conductor uh, is made of copper. So, uh, a cable uh, consists of one conductor, uh, number one. Number two, uh, it is the insulation. Uh, number three, the mechanical mechanical uh, protection. Now, uh, the, what is very, very important, or what is the most uh, of concern to us, is the conductor plus the insulation. And uh, we must protect uh, the, uh, the insulation plus the, uh, plus the conductor. If we don't uh, protect the insulation, what would happen is that uh, the insulation may fail, and if it fails, then we would have a, a, a short circuit. So to avoid that, uh, that's why we have to protect both the conductor and the insulation so that uh, they are always uh, able to perform the work that they are supposed to be, to be performing. Now, uh, when we add the mechanical protection, uh, this protection made of uh, PVC sheet uh, protects both the conductor and uh, the insulation. And uh, in some degree, to some degree, uh, it uh, offers some uh, uh, mechanical protection. But uh, the mechanical protection offered here, of course, uh, might, not be very ma might not be very much, uh, but it can withstand some uh, uh, mechanical stress that would otherwise uh, injure the insulation and, uh, of course, now damaging the cable. 
Uh, that's why uh, we refer to this as a sheathed cable. And this sheathed cable is used for service wiring. And uh, in service wiring, it means that the cable lies flat on the service. The cable lies flat on the service. And there is no other protection uh, that, uh, of course, uh, would be provided. But uh, in domestic setup, uh, it, might be, it, it might be good because uh, we don't expect uh, so much to uh, destroy the, uh, the conductor. And that's what we have for service wiring. Then, uh, the other system that is uh, used in uh, domestic installation is the use of a PVC code width. Now, uh, the PVC code width uh, offers a better mechanical protection and uh, it is, um, it looks, it, the presentation of the installation looks better. Uh, the code width is a cylindrical uh, pipe uh, whereby uh, wires run through and uh, uh, they, they are protected by the code width. The code width looks something like this. The code width looks something like this. You can see uh, this is a, a, a code width. Uh, made of uh, PVC. You can see the, the inertia it is circular and uh, it has uh, a diameter. Uh, the diameter that uh, we normally uh, have for domestic installation, uh, we use both uh, 20 millimeter and uh, 25 millimeter. 25 millimeters. So uh, this is the uh, this is the inside diameter of the pipe and uh, we can have uh, cables running through and of course when cables are running through here uh, they have a very strong um, protection and uh, of course uh, they are protected both from mechanical damage and any chemical uh, attack that would otherwise uh, work on the insulation. So, this, uh, and that's destroying the insulation. And uh, the PVC code width uh, is quite strong. It's quite strong. And uh, it produces some uh, very nice work. It produces some very nice work. Uh, plus, uh, it has uh, other advantages uh, that, uh, of course, uh, provides a better mechanical protection than the sheep. And also, uh, it allows uh, the it allows uh, more cables to land through. Because uh, when you compare this with the, uh, with the wiring that we have here, now if you have uh, a number of uh, conductors that you want to land along with this, then it means that you have to use another sheath cable and another sheath cable and another sheath cable. But when you have uh, a, a PVC code width, then it means that you can draw uh, a number of cables here uh, to the maximum allowed uh, number uh, so that uh, you accomplish what you want to accomplish uh, with the code width. So that's what we have uh, for these uh, two types of wiring. But uh, though, though uh, we are saying that uh, well, we have this, uh, these, are not, these, are not, these are not the only uh, wiring systems that could be there. Because uh, when you go to commercial setups and uh, industrial setup, the other wiring system that uh, could be uh, in addition uh, with that. So uh, that's what would uh, 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 that, that's what we will be looking in details uh, to see how it is actually done. So to, for today, uh, we have been able to see that uh, uh, the wiring systems that are typically used for domestic uh, installation are two. That is, we have uh, service wiring where we use the sheath, and we also have the PVC code width. Uh, for now, uh, we have seen that uh, for domestic installations, we do uh, service wiring and uh, PVC uh, code width. Uh, and in the next session, we are going to see uh, other types of wiring systems that are used in uh, both commercial and uh, industrial setup.